headline here, the big picture, is can anyone stop Alito? And that is, for me, when you are filling out your bracket and you're trying to figure out what's going to happen in the 5A Division II uh, bracket, the whole question, the only question, is can anyone stop Alito? They have been perfect so far. They've got a healthy Jace McClellan, who, by the way, I think being, you know, he broke his wrist yeah. early in the year, missed like, I think, four or five games. Yeah. In a way that might be a super big advantage for them. Fresh legs, baby. He does not have the mileage. No. Exactly. And so, you know, like we when you think of other Alito running backs, specifically Jonathan Gray, you would be you would wonder, like, oh man, there's so many so many miles on him. Is he gonna be able to give you that championship game? Now he always did, but that was a question. Right. Not gonna be a question for Jason McClellan. No. He's got the he's got it. And I think this new quarterback, uh, Bishop, I, I don't know. Luke I've never Bishop, heard Matthew Bishop Bishop Bishop. That's how many Bishop of them. Like, can you Clarence have an Bishop. Alito? Another one, but he's incredible. A little. There's some lab out there where they just like in a side of a mountain where they're producing these bishop kids. So that is your question. The question is, can anyone stop Alito? Let's start. Who could stop him in 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 their own region? Um. I mean, Grapevine's interesting, but I think they'd be favorable to Grapevine. Yeah. Abilene Cooper, if they just trick him into a shootout and say, right. let's go. You guys want to run? Yeah. Because Abilene Cooper yeah. can score. It's really the path for both Grapevine right. and Cooper. And then regional final, I mean, Boswell? Right. But they just beat him. Yep. You know what I mean? Now, they gave him a good game, and maybe yeah. it's tough to be a th- good team yeah. twice. But Boswell, maybe a team like Dumas. Dumas yeah. plays great defense coming out of West Texas. Watch out for them. Who, would, who, who they, in, in a semifinal, right? In a semifinal, coming out of Region 2. Could be Frisco Lone Star. Yep. In Frisco Lone Star, we've seen in person. I think they are balanced. I think they are dangerous. I think they're improving. I think Battle they're tested. Well, they played some tough teams. I think they're well coached. You could also see a team like Mansfield Legacy. If you want to talk about individual superstars to know, Jalen Catalan yeah. has been spectacular for yeah. Legacy. And then you're talking about a title game. And to me, if Alito gets to a title game, I think there's a fair chance he's going to shoot me. Yeah. He's going to bust through this door from Corpus Christi and <laughs> shoot me you. in the head. Corpus Christi, Cal Allen, man. Right. They win another yeah. district championship. They're rolling. It's that same old Phil Dane Rumblings magic. that this team might be better than last year's They're team. They're just rolling right now. Yeah. Now, um, you know, they would have to get past their own semifinal, um, which it could it be. It's a lot tougher than last year. Let me tell you, I think I think in a lot of respect, look, Fort Penn Marshall is interesting to me. I know you're very high on Fort Penn Marshall. They are a sentimental pick for me, too. Uh, Hutto, I think, is dangerous. Yeah. Uh, I think Huntsville. I think the I think whoever I think College Station as well and yeah. consolidate both those yeah. teams out of College yeah. Station, and whoever wins Portnish Groves and Crosby, yeah, right. Yeah. Like we know they can score. We right. know they have individual superstars. Yeah. Whoever wins that by district much match. tougher region this year than it was last year. These teams have all improved dramatically. So that's the question. The question is who can stop Alito? Three contenders again. It has to start with Alito. Yep, it has to start with them. Cal Allen, again, it just works. Yep. Now. The thing about their style of play is that if they have an off half, mm-hmm. it's church. Like right. they're like they don't have the kind of firepower to make a big comeback. Right. But the way that it works is they just kind of grind you down. Yeah. A, a semifinal would be very difficult, but they are the favorites in Region Four. And there's Fort Ben Marshall. I know you've seen them. I know you're super high on them. Boy, when they are on, watch out. You're talking about a group of offensive players and playmakers in 582 that I don't think is rivaled in this division. I don't think there's anyone that can hang with the skill players that Marshall has. I think the leadership that Jabari James brings him at quarterback, it just sets them apart. I think they're a really, really good team. Now, the biggest thing is can they stay out of their own way? Yeah. I think think Coach Williams, uh, he'd be the first first one to tell you that, uh, you know, as long as they – don't shoot themselves in the foot. They can go as far as the, their talent will take them. And, boy, I, I just look at it. Cal Allen might be better this year, but I just think Region 3 is going to be a lot tougher. I think we're not paying enough attention to College Station. Mm-hmm. They're clearly very good this mm-hmm. year, Marquez maybe Price better than they excellent. were last year. And that was a 31-30 game against mm-hmm. Cal Allen in the semifinal. I just think Region 3 is going to be tough. I think it will be, too. My sleeper here is North Forney. A, a coaching play, again, with Randy Jackson. And can they trick you into a shootout? They are just yeah. they they are the wild card. Yeah. Because if you've ever seen it's always sunny in Philadelphia, <laughs> they just want to cut the brakes. Yeah. You just be like, no, let's just go. Come yep. on. We'll outscore you. Let's yeah. go. Yep. Like a giant, stupid offense. Yep. Defense is just trying to get the ball back to the offense. And yep. if they turn you over like once or twice, like they're gonna beat you. Kind of shades of that Lake Ridge team that made it to the state final a few years ago. Right? Where the defense yeah. is not incredible, yeah. but it's like it, it doesn't matter because the offense is just yeah. out of control. Yeah. North Forney is my sleeper in five division two. 